Science and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the thief of dreams. Definitely a baby. That is definitely a 
that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. What the they have no that? idea what the dream machine is really for. I'll find it. It's it's doing it again. 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 They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. Oh. This is interesting. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. People keep bringing flowers, so I know they mean well. Wonder if anyone even asks. Wonder if anyone even asks themselves whether I'm allergic to flowers. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. Wonkers watches over me night and day. He may be just a toy bot, but there's something comforting about that. Faithful old Wonkers. Dad, I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Okay, so we got some info there. I hear her calling out for help. Oh, She's trapped in a looping a night terror. Oh, 
Can't grab her, she's falling too quickly. Okay, so I gotta find some way to like lower. Help me! Oh wait, she's moving slower than I can't grab her, she's falling too quickly. She's falling a little slower than Ooh, ah, shiny. God. But no, that probably won't help. Okay, yeah, no, won't help. Okay, come on. So... Oh god, no! Oh! Hold on. I got you! Oh god, don't let go! Saving me. Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, okay it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was. This feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back, and maybe I won't find you next time, and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh god, no. No, I promise. I'll remember. Okay. Do something else with your spare time. Go shopping. Have lots of sex. Take more naps. Anything but this. I love sex! Time to wake up. Thank you. Again? Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. dream is just total blackness Ooh. the absence of light okay i like this one there's someone there he is Dark. He's absolutely terrified. As long as he believes in it, his light will stay strong. Anywhere. No, don't, okay. don't come any controls are all messed up. Crap, I can't see anything. I'll fix it later. Who are you? Why are you here? The darkness. It's everywhere. It's getting. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm not here. I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who, who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. <coughs> so I may be able to change the control to... It's dark. Uh, it's too I'm dark. Not I can't... I, the darkness. It's getting closer. I hate... The dark. You can't stand it. Okay, so we gotta find some way to light it up. It's not gonna do anything with you. Dreaming? No. That can't. That can't be. This this is too real. Too real. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. Okay. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. 
Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. I don't ever want to come back. I want to. One second here, I'm back. Okay, so I went to see if I could change the controls to the to L1. Sadly, I could not. Uh, the dream machine again. Work. Sadly. Okay, so I'm trying to find. What was that? That bulb won't last long. It's dark. The dark is everywhere. Oh, I have to go back. Back to the light. Mm, it's already lit. I can't make it any brighter. It's dark. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. My mental powers do not extend to inanimate objects, or light bulbs. Stay close to me, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I hate the dark. I can't stand it. You have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close, and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from oh, dream machines. So you bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. Drowning in it. The darkness is swallowing him. me up. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. The power of the mind. Hey, my superpower. It's happening again. Misconception to the it's rescue. Happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. This is a very I can't stand it. It's really, really I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Let it go. Shine for let me, you go. crazy diamond. I'm not sorry. You're not alone. I'm oh, here to sorry. help you. I, I'm not sorry, but I'm not completely. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, bro. you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You're okay, man. Thank you. All right, man. Got this. Oh, I can destroy this nation. Interesting. Okay. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry, not that kind of light. <laughs> You'll just wake up.
What is that? A bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. Oh, it's child. Poor girl. It's okay. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you. It's She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or shall oh. I lock it and let the monster have me? <laughs> that mother is me. Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? <laughs> Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. <laughs> it is actually really cool. Like, that is on point. She dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? What have we got? It's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Whoever wired her to a dream machine, without me, she'll be trapped. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. do this to her child. People are horrible. Okay, so there's that. All right. Uh, Torch. Flashlight. Beacon. Okay. Oh, now we got it. Oh! I've got something. A key. A key. Sweetness. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are oh. horrible. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. Okay, hold on. If I... I'm quickly running out of ideas. It's a torch. It projects a light beam. It's used to penetrate darkness, like a broadsword of light. Fighting. Darkness dragons. Oh, I give up. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People hey. are horrible. So I'll shine the light at it and it goes away. Now. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Hey, yeah, it's working. Cool.
Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Oh, crap. Okay, so I ran out of time. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open. I need a key to open this. Okay, I think we're good. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. I need a key to open this. I do have a key, though. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a quest. Now that's a proper key. If I was a gambling man, I'd gamble on this fitting the wardrobe lock. Okay. Of course, I'm not a man. I need a key to open this. I need a key to open this. Yes, I have a key. And everything is glitching out there. I need a key to open this. Okay. I need a key to open this. Okay. This is probably for the wardrobe. Yes. I need a key to open this. I have a key! Believe a mother would do this to her child. People, I need a key to open this. I have. Oh. No, don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you, but I don't know how to get back it's home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the out. wardrobe, waiting for you. No. It's. It's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. <laughs> Come on. I will put it like right here. It's Do you there. use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Okay. Maybe Very not. But you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Oh, now go through and you'll wake up again. Good girl. Thank you. I'm a What's your name? Zoe. Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Okay, Zoe, not Linda, Zoe. Zoe. This has to stop. Okay. Just got an auto save. Oh, here we go. The Vagabond. Master of the story time. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and it's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Home? All I once had is gone forever. Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to home. I'm not going home. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger night disease. Terrors. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But I'm... What's the point? There are no second chances. <laughs> Every choice leads to the same Sorry. outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so I'm powerless. There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I... he's asking me to help, but 
I don't even know what's happening. I've done my share. You've been here for a long time, Zoe. The dreaming disease has not abated. It has become worse. I thought we took care of that. When you laid your sister to rest, order was restored to the story time. Faith's presence, feeding on the dreams of millions, was wearing down the walls of reality. Without you, the world would be in chaos. Nothing lost was in vain. Nothing sacrificed was without meaning. You were brought here at the end because you are the dreamer and you belong to this place. But your world is caught up in a dream that never ends. I didn't see this coming. It's an aberration. Aberration. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know. I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay, so I go back, face the world, face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react, touch people's lives without fear of consequence. So what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. Good luck! Thank you! Okay. Now I'm back here. Okay. So I think... Okay, so I guess I... Back here. 
if I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it. The signal from my comatose brain. It's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... no, bad. Faithful old wonkers. Faithful old wonkers. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different. I tried reading my. The. I, to tap into my. Okay, I need to figure out how to tap into my subconscious. Wait, I have a choice. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, okay. but it doesn't look good. That line should. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day, keeps apologizing. This is probably a terrible idea, but. If I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. This is probably... I don't know if it... I don't think my dream... That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. No light source there. Oh! Oh, bollocks. The machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs oh, into my body. Creepy. I just wanted a little pick-me-up and not an actual OD. So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring, like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Where do you think you're going? Did you think it was going to be that easy? A quick chat with Mr. Dinner Theatre and then sayonara to story time. Hello, second chances. Don't be a fucking tosser. You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not letting her stand. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You're still rejecting your own self, your past. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. And what if I am? You think this time it's going to play out differently? <laughs> That's real cute. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I'm not going over this. I'm going home. Home? Sure, why not? Why not go home? Easy. Oh, but wait. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. Everything and everyone you ever cared for is gone. You're right. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. What is? I'm not asking for a perfect home. I just want a home. And my life back. <laughs> nice retort, big sister. Did you rehearse that one? What did you call me? Okay. Touch a nerve, did I? That was you. You were there. You said goodbye to Faith. It's not for you to mock and use against me. That was never me. 
You left me behind before that. You ignored your true self and pretended to be a hero. Like that was ever gonna stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up, unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. But, you know, that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. Yeah. Oh, spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Yes. Who I am. Yes. Who I will be. Oh yeah? And... And who is that? Oh. I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. That's what I'm gonna do. I, as you can see, it says that I can check. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. There was certainty in that. I don't know why I lost faith in who I was and who I wanted to be, but it's time to find my way back. I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go. You know what? I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always, always will be. be. We need each other. I like this choice. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. Let's go! Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive. Oh.